Have you ever bought a new light bulb or lamp from a shop, brought it back home, installed it, only to be pretty disappointed with the colour of light that it produces? That is where colour temperature is so important. I'm going to head out now to a local store that has many lamps for sale, take a look at some of the packaging and show you what you should be looking for. If you're not used to looking at packaging like this, it'd be very easy to misunderstand what it is you're looking for. This one, for example, says neutral white and this one says warm white, but it doesn't say on the front how neutral white it is or indeed how warm this one is. Color temperature is how you determine how warm or cool a light is. It is measured in degrees Kelvin and given by a number followed by the letter K for Kelvin. The higher the number, like 6,000 or 4,000 Kelvin, the cooler the light will be, and the closer to daylight. The lower the number, like 2,700 or 3,000 K for Kelvin, the warmer the light will be, and that'll be a number closer to what you would expect from an older halogen or tungsten light bulb. Here we have a neutral white light bulb. It's not cool white, it's not warm white, it's neutral white which I believe is a bit of a cop out and doesn't really tell you either way what it is. But if you turn it over, it says on the back 4,000 Kelvin. Perfect, you know exactly what the color temperature of this light bulb will be. This light bulb is warm white, but how warm? So I turn it over and I can see on the back of it, it says 2,700 Kelvin. Perfect, I know how warm this will be. How do they look when they're on? This is a 4,000 Kelvin light bulb. This is a 2700 Kelvin light bulb. Both of these are perfectly usable in the home though. 4000 Kelvin might be better suited to a bathroom, a home office, or a home gym, maybe a kitchen. 2700 Kelvin though is better suited for somewhere you want to relax, a bedroom or a living room, for example. You can see here, it's so important to check the packaging. It's also important to try and maintain color temperature within one space, one room, for example. If my bedroom's main light was a 2700K light, I'd want to make sure a bedside table lamp was also 2700K. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye-bye.